Today, we have the introductory class of Geography, 6th Standard. The first chapter focuses on the solar system and the place of Earth. The sun, the moon and all those objects shining in the night sky are together called celestial bodies. Solar system is part of the universe that consists of celestial bodies like star, planet and satellites. Let's have a look at each of them. Star is a celestial body. They are big and hot. They have their own heat and light. We know sun is a star. Please note, star is made of gases. Patterns formed by different groups of stars is known as constellation. A planet does not have its own heat or light. They receive light and heat from stars. We know Earth is a planet. It receives heat and light from Sun. The word planet is derived from the Greek word planetai, which means wanderers. Satellite is also part of solar system. A satellite moves around the planet. Moon is the only satellite of Earth. Human-made satellite is an artificial body. It is carried by a rocket and placed in the orbit around the Earth. We have examples EGUSAT and INSAT. Asteroids. We often hear about them. What are they? They are numerous tiny bodies found between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. They are believed to be parts of a planet which exploded many years back. Meteoroids They are small pieces of rocks which move around the sun. Though meteoroids tend to drop on the earth due to friction with the atmosphere, most of them get burned. So, sun is the center of solar system. In other words, Sun is the head of the solar family. It is around 150 million kilometers away from the Earth. Light travels at the speed of 3 lakh kilometers per second and it takes about 8 minutes to reach the Earth. There are 8 planets moving around the Sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune. The chapter gives us a call to remember all of them. My very efficient mother just served as nuts. These eight planets move around the sun in a fixed path. These parts are known as orbits. Inner planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars are made up of rocks. Outer planets Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune are made up of gases and liquid. Mercury is nearest to the Sun. It takes only 88 days to complete one round along the orbit. Venus is considered as Earth's twin as its size and shape are similar to that of Earth. Pluto was also considered a planet till 2006. Now it's listed as dwarf planet. Earth is the third planet to the Sun and fifth largest in size. Earth is slightly flattened at the poles so this shape is called geoid. From outer space, Earth is seen blue, so it is called a blue planet. Moon is the only satellite of Earth. It's about 384,400 kilometers away. The moon moves around the Earth in about 27 days and takes exactly the same time to complete one spin. So, only one side of the moon is visible to us. It has mountains, plains and depressions on its surface. This casts shadows on the moon's surface. 
Neil Armstrong was the first man to step on the moon on 21st July 1969. We know with no engine has stepped on the moon so far. Have you seen the whitish broadband like glowing paths across the sky on a clear starry night? It's a cluster of millions of stars. This band is the Milky Way of galaxy or Akash Ganga. A galaxy is a huge system of billions of stars and clouds of dust and gases. These millions of galaxies make the universe. So where are we? We are on Earth. Earth is part of the solar system. Solar system is part of galaxy which is a small part of the universe. Through this chapter, we have understood about solar system and the place of Earth in it. In the next video, we will discuss the second chapter which focuses on Earth as a globe and the imaginary lines on it. Now, try to answer these questions.